Welcome to this video on electromagnetic fields. Over the next few videos, we're going to look at some of the basic principles of electromagnetism. And in this video, we're going to start with the basics. And one of the important things to realize is that there's an important link between electricity and magnetism. And that's what gives rise to this, this uh, word electromagnetism, or in this case, electromagnetic. And so we're going to look at how electricity or, or electric currents can create electromagnetic fields. So one of the simplest examples is just a wire. So I've got here a diagram of a, of a conductor. We can imagine that it's a wire. And we can also imagine that there's a current uh, traveling down this wire. So I'll, I'll mark on there that we have a current I. And what we find is whenever a current travels down a conductor, it creates a magnetic field. And in this case, the magnetic field is going to travel uh, sort of around the, the conductor uh, in, in this kind of shape. So we've got a, a magnetic field that's actually going around the conductor in a certain direction like this. So we've got this magnetic field being produced. Now, the magnetic field has a particular direction and it's consistent with all conductors and one of the good ways to sort of remember which way the um, the magnetism goes around the conductor is by using a, a right hand rule if you imagine holding up your right hand in a kind of thumbs up position so you have your um, fingers closed in a kind of fist and you've got your thumb outstretched upwards well we can imagine that the thumb is the current so our current is, is pointing upwards. And then our closed fingers represent the magnetic field, which travels around like so. And so that link um, between current and magnetic field is consistent. And we can use that, that right-hand rule to remember. I'm also going to mark the magnetic field as B in both instances here, the letter B to represent the magnetic field and we'll come back to this letter B and, and, and what it represents later on in, in later videos as well um, but for now we'll just use the letter B to represent that field. It's a little bit impractical to be drawing wires and conductors like, like we're doing now um, and one of the things we can do and we often see is wires or conductors represented with a, an end view of the conductor. So if we imagine that we're looking, um, if we can imagine our sort of, uh, I'll draw an eye there, our perspective of the wire, we're looking at the end of the wire and the current is coming towards us. We can represent that on the page by um, simply a symbol like this. We, we draw a wire with this dot in the middle. Um, so that's the current heading towards us. Now, if our perspective was, say, at the wire at this end, and we're looking at uh, the current traveling away from us, we would represent that on the page as a circle with a cross. So we, we've got two symbols now that we're introducing. A conductor with uh, current coming towards us, that's the symbol there and a conductor with current uh, traveling away from us. Let's look at these two symbols again, because what we can do is we can use our right hand rule again to represent the magnetic field uh, that goes around of these two conductors. So on the left hand side, we have the same symbol again, the current traveling away from us, so the current going into the screen. Um, and what we can do is we can use our right hand rule to represent the current in this case. So we would have to take our right hand and our thumb represents the current, remember, and we would point it into the screen. And looking at our right hand, we can now see that the magnetic field represented by our closed fingers is traveling in a clockwise direction around the conductor. Similarly, on the right hand side, again using our right hand rule, we have a current that is coming towards us. So imagining that the current is, is coming out of the screen towards us. 
And if we use our right hand rule again, we can see that the magnetic field is now in an anti-clockwise direction around that conductor. So once again, on the left hand side, we have a current traveling away from us, which gives us a clockwise magnetic field from our perspective. And on the right hand side, a current traveling towards us, which gives us an anti-clockwise magnetic field. Let's imagine now that we move our conductors slightly closer together. So we have two wires, and in this case, they are both carrying currents that are both coming towards us. And we're moving them closer in proximity to one another. And because both of these, uh, both of these wires have a magnetic field, and both of their magnetic fields are going in the same anti-clockwise direction, what we'll see is something like this. Because the magnetic fields of these two conductors have the same direction, they actually come together and unify to form one magnetic field. And this is where the idea of uh, electromagnetic attraction comes from, because the idea that these two conductors are sharing a, a common field that goes in the same direction is actually going to attract them to one another. And so what we'll actually see in this instance is these two conductors will actually physically be drawn towards one another if the magnetic field is strong enough. And so we can say that parallel conductors with currents flowing in the same direction are attracted to one another. Let's look at the opposite situation where we now have a conductor whose current is traveling towards us on the left hand side and a conductor whose current is traveling away from us on the right hand side. And so what happens if I sketch very quickly is just to repeat ourselves, we have a, a magnetic field produced on the left hand side that is traveling in this anti-clockwise direction. And we have a magnetic field on the right hand side which takes the form of a clockwise direction. So what happens when these two conductors start to approach one another? Well what we see is something like this. Because the two magnetic fields are traveling in different directions to one another, they oppose one another. And the way they do that is really to kind of avoid one another. They push each other's magnetic field lines away from one another. And we get this separation, this, uh, this deformation between the two because the two magnetic fields are repelled by one another. And so what actually happens in this case is because the fields want to kind of move away from one another, the two conductors are actually repelled from one another. So we see uh, movement of the two conductors physically being pushed away from one another. And so we can say that parallel conductors with currents traveling in opposite directions are actually repelled from one another. They move away from one another because their fields are fundamentally opposed. I hope this video has been useful in exploring the most basic electromagnetic field around a conducting wire and then how those fields interact when they approach one another.